the ordinary, the ordinary, the ordinary is here. Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm April, a skincare and cosmetic chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to this channel. Join the family. Support your girl. This year, we are taking this channel to 100K. Yes, I said it. We're taking the channel to 100K because I be doing research. I'll be writing notes for you guys for my videos. So please support the channel. It really just helps me. I don't really make any money off of doing this video. So your support would mean the world to me. Also check out my Patreon page. I just started that. So hopefully this year I get to share even more insights with you guys. Everything is in the description box below. Definitely check that out and support your girl. All right, so today's video, I'll be talking about the ordinary products and how to use them on skin of color. Basically, I'll be creating a routine for you guys in this video for my people of color because our skin is different. You know what I'm saying? We have melanin that easily gets triggered. Okay, I know a lot of people are always gonna be like, well, people of color can use whatever products. Yes, people of color can use any products, but our melanin is a lot bigger, gets triggered really quickly, and we're the only skin type that actually gets dark spots when we get irritated, when our skin gets inflamed. So we have to use certain products or certain ingredients to let our skin thrive. So the first products for cleanser, the Ordinary only has a squalane cleanser, so that unfortunately is the only cleanser that I can recommend. If you want more of an active, check out Ula Hankson. I use their BHAAJ cleanser that I really, really enjoy, but this one is just a squalane cleanser. That's all that they have, so I'm only recommending this product because I know some people like to shop off of just like one source. So if you're one of these people, then yeah, get the cleanser. All right, next you want to put on your acids because acids actually drop your skin pH to less than seven. So you want to do acids before you go into the rest of your routine. So for acids, I recommend mandelic acid, which has, you know, a bigger molecule size. And this one is really gentle, doesn't easily trigger our skin. Unlike glycolic acid, which has smaller molecules that goes really deeply into the skin and can cause irritation. Mandelic acid is really, really soft and exfoliates really gently. Also, the lactic acid 5% is also a great exfoliator slash moisturizing factor it helps you know soothe your skin while it exfoliates your skin so that's another great choice for acids acetylic acid is also a great one because acetylic acid also has brightening properties so acetylic acid would be another great one to incorporate into your routine because it's also really gentle and has brightening properties it doesn't exfoliate though but it definitely would help you know brighten that skin i actually use acetylic acid in the morning for my skincare routine uh, because you know i try to not have too much going on at night time for moisturizer they don't really have any moisturizer again it's very limited in their inventory so i will recommend the natural moisturizing factor this one has hyaluronic acid which is good for plumping up your skin and giving your skin hydration for long periods of time this moisturizer also has urea which is a great humectant alentoin which is great for soothing the skin and a bunch of fatty acids like oleic acid which is great for moisturizing that skin and keeping that skin barrier in tip-top shape as far as sunscreen ordinary doesn't have any sunscreen unfortunately we've been waiting for their sun chemical sunscreen to drop the reason why i wouldn't really recommend their physical is because of uh, white cast white cast is real out here in the streets we need to get white cast in 2021 so unfortunately i can't really recommend their sunscreen so if you are looking for decent sunscreen i recommend supergroup that's the one that i use that i really enjoy final part i'm going to recommend here is their vitamin c this one is actually for a morning routine the vitamin c i recommend is the ascorbic acid eight percent plus afrobutin two percent this is a good product because they both help each other out and boost each other's potent properties. The aquabutin actually helps the ascorbic acid work even harder on the skin to give you that antioxidant and brightening properties. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a really quick video to help you guys build a skincare routine because I know a lot of times I film videos where I talk about a product, I tell you guys the worst products, best products, and you know, review brands and everything. But I really wanted a video where I can create a uh, skincare routine from the ordinary. I know that this is a really popular brand that's everywhere. So I really wanted you guys, for those of you that like that one-stop shop experience to have, you know, know exactly what you want, go in there and get everything that you need for your morning and nighttime routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me a thumbs up. It really helps me out and continues to motivate me to make even more well thought out, put together videos like this for you guys. I hope 2021 is the year of the best skin yet. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.